the title, the title of the article is the continuum of a unified theory of diseases. The continuum of a unified theory of diseases. When a person is born and uh, starts having some medical problems and this newborn child is treated most probably with acute conditions there are two possibilities after they have been treated usually antibiotics or cortisone or chemical drugs anti-inflammatory etc depending on the problem the organism has two possibilities one is to to get rid of the chemicals as well as getting rid of the disease that's one possibility that means you give a lot of drugs antibiotics whatever the pneumonia is subsided and later on the organism tries to get rid of the effect of the antibiotics or the chemicals the second possibility is in case the organism the immune system is not strong enough what is going to happen is to subdue the acute condition but the organism does not have the power to get rid of the acute and what what the best can do is to submit itself to the power of the drugs in which case the acute inflammatory process becomes a sub-acute chronic inflammatory process. This sub-acute inflammatory process is what we call and what we know to be the chronic degenerative diseases what kind what kind of an inflammation of a chronic degenerative condition will develop each organism will then depend on genetic predisposition So if the genetic predisposition is towards a sensitivity on the ears, it will develop ear problems, hearing problems of a severe or a less severe condition. If the uh, predisposition is for epilepsy, it will develop epilepsy. If the predisposition is for asthma, especially, especially because the primary inflammation in the children is on the respiratory system, that is why we have so many cases of asthmatic conditions that have been created by suppression of acute respiratory conditions. So the idea I was given in this article was that unless the organism had the possibility to get rid of the disease and the effect, the, the effect of the drugs, 
then we will definitely have the manifestation of a predisposition, genetic predisposition of the organism. That organism can manifest all types of diseases as we know today. It's not that, the, at least most of the times, it's not that the chemical itself will give a, a problem, but it will trigger the predisposition of the organism, the genetic predisposition. So therefore, what I claim in this article is that there is a continuum of diseases and these diseases, acute, chronic or developed by uh, chemical drugs, they have a continuum, they are, uh, they are connected with each other. 